time for coffee. Welcome back to Wild Vlogs. This is Wild Vlogs 8. Where we'll talk about all things wildlife and all things filmmaking. And you may be a little bit curious about the state of my voice, as am I. I've got a hefty chest infection right now, which is being treated by uh, severely strong antibiotics. All will be well, I'm sure, for Vlog 9. But you'll forgive me if we crack straight on. Today's film is going to be us heading down to the River Verme, to the shores of the River Verme. And the crucial part of this film is the use of scrim. Scrim is an adaptable camouflage. You can buy it pretty cheaply online. You can tear it to shape to you and your equipment in whatever position you find yourself in. As to its success, well, hopefully this film will give you some idea. Let's go straight into the film now then. Dollar Brand Cottage. And for all the wonderful opportunities this retreat has given me filming some really exciting wildlife. There's a place just a little over a kilometre away that also holds so much potential. And one I can never ignore. Down the path and across the field. You'll eventually come to the shores of the River Vernwy. This is late May, and currently the water is low. But there's something so hypnotic about the sound of this super clean water drifting over the gravel and through the boulders. An initial recce by the weir next to my favourite spot provides a surprising result. A superb small piece of footage of salmon fry. This particular part of the River Vermey with its low loose gravel super clean water is perfect for salmon spawning and here the fry turning into par and eventually smolt will develop developing to this smolt stage they'll start to change internally and physiologically they'll be able to accept saline salt water as they stop fighting against the river's current and start to go with it heading down from this tributary into the river Severn and then the Atlantic Ocean Two to three years out in the Atlantic Ocean will see them mature and then return back to this very spot where they'll spawn and then die. The real intention for this, my favourite spot on the River Vernley, is to head down to its shores at the crack of dawn. There, seated low and hidden by a piece of scrim, I'll accept anything that comes along for the next four hours. And generally, this spot doesn't disappoint. With still barely enough light to film, the first bird to come into view is the juvenile dipper. I'm always nervous at this stage about whether my concealment has been successful. Despite how good it may look externally, I always feel totally exposed under this thin piece of screen, and I'm absolutely sure that they can see me. I love these birds. Passerines evolved to exist in on and underneath the water. Another expected but welcome visitor was a grey wagtail. Mm. 
this individual gave me hope that my concealment was good. Getting closer and closer. But then for definite confirmation, my juvenile dipper landed no more than 15 yards away and turned its back on me. That, for sure, a definite sign this bird wasn't aware I was there. One thing that's always fascinated me about dippers are the pale eyelids. This thought to be a method of communication and one that can be seen rather than heard over the din of the rushing water. Excited sprightly movements tell me that our juvenile has spotted something and it's the adult. Only briefly though, always a stunning view to see the deep rich chestnuts of the adult bird. No sooner was it there than it was gone. I don't think it's feeding its chick. And now for a true test of my concealment. An arrival of a common sandpiper. You will not find a more skittish, more anxious bird than the common sandpiper. This migrant from Africa arrives on our freshwater shores in late April and sets up a territory. Again, like most freshwater based birds, it has a dipping, wagging motion. And as much as this bird, like the dipper, seems curious about the new foliage, again it comes within 10 yards. It was only later that I was to realise that the nest, just still with one egg, was only yards from where I parked the car. These eggs won't be brooded until the clutch is complete. My suspicions appeared right about this juvenile dipper, as it appears to be feeding itself now and must be in that brief moment of its life where it's tolerated by the adults, but soon, surely won't be. There's every chance our adults will go for a second brood. Only a short while before I planned to depart, the adult returned. Aesthetically, these birds are wonderful, but it's more than that, for me, about dippers. It's also the physiology of this bird, because these are passerines, but they're passerines with a much higher volume of haemoglobin, the oxygen-holding part of the blood. This, and a much slower rate of metabolism than other passerines, mean that these birds, when required, can spend up to 30 seconds or more underwater. And should the river be much deeper than this, as surely it will be at some points, these birds will walk on the riverbed itself, flapping their wings, propelling themselves against the river's current. All kinds of riverbed invertebrate life are taken as food, from caddisfly nymph to mayfly nymph and everything in between even sometimes small fish. And I'm pleased that as a parting shot, I get my adult in all her glory preening. Preening for dippers is absolutely crucial. It's this element of their plumage that will keep them watertight. And just like all the other physiological exceptions to them and other passerines, their preen glands are up to twice the size for the birds. Super rich with waterproofing oil.
plan to do lots more vlogs of that similar type where we head somewhere to a certain location, sit prone and give it a few hours to see what turns up. Of course, it does take a little bit of an experience to work out where these best locations are, but that does come pretty quickly with time. Well done to Aidy Quinn for correctly identifying the chick from last week as the jipper chick seen in that film. For now though guys, I just think I need my bed. No teaser this week. I'm going to head off and get a hot cup of lem sip. So to everybody, thank you for joining me. But for now, goodbye.